Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part two of my autumn winter Primark haul. I did go very very mad in Primark a few days ago and as I said I wasn't expecting much but my local Primark seemed to have some really really lovely new launches so I went a bit mad, came away with three huge bags and stumbled home in the rain feeling very happy with myself. I wanted to split the haul into two parts because otherwise it would have been super long so if you haven't watched the first half I will leave a link in the description box below so you can go and watch that one. So I'm going to pick up from where I left off last time and show you the remaining bits that I picked up. So this piece was a gorgeous soft knitwear which was actually displayed on the model and it looked really sophisticated and sleek and I feel like often knitwear can look really cheap but this one just looks really high quality and it's super soft and it's also got a slight split detailing at the back. It's a sort of off-white creamy colour and I picked it up in a size 12 by accident. So I actually meant to pick it up in a size 8, I don't know what went wrong there, but anyway, it was £5 and I'll see how it looks on actually because it doesn't look too massive, but I do like my knitwear to be quite fitted because of my shape, sometimes I can look quite boxy, but anyway, I'm really really happy with this and they did it in a few other colours as well, so if I like this one, I might go and treat myself to the other colours as well. I was really pleasantly surprised to find a gorgeous trench coat which is kind of the classic shade and style and it actually looks really really good on. It doesn't look like much on the hanger or off but it was £14 and I feel like if you size down in this it can look really really lovely and just pull an outfit together. I often find it's really really hard to find trench coats that fit well and they're not mega expensive so this will definitely be a staple in my autumn wardrobe I'm sure. It's really great for that transition period when you want to have something a little bit extra to keep you warmer but you don't want a giant puffer jacket. Like me I made the mistake when I went to Primark the other day, wore a massive puffer jacket and I was sweating all the way home with my three or four massive Primark bags. So this will be a great in-between option and I'm really really excited to wear it. Up next I picked up some gym pieces although I think this if I can get it to work is more of a kind of yoga, um, Zumba, Pilates not that I go to any of those things, but anyway, one of those kind of tops because it's got a tank top underneath in grey and then a lightweight baby pink um, longer sleeve top over the top. I feel like this combination is great during the winter when you want to go and work out and you want to put something slightly warmer over the top but you don't want to go out in a massive jacket that you then have to store in a locker. So this is a great option. It was £7 and I got it in a size 8. I actually have an announcement that I will make on my channel very soon, which I'm sure lots of you will laugh at, including my old PE teachers. Um, I won't reveal too much, but lots of these gym wear buys are inspired by that. So stay tuned for what that is, because it's a massive announcement and I don't know whether to laugh or cry about it, but anyway, we're gonna go with it. Primark actually has some really, really great gym wear and I've bought lots of my kind of gym leggings and yoga pants and stuff from there before and I've never had a problem with them. They've always been really high quality and lots of them I've had for years. So I thought I would pick up just a plain kind of black running top. Not that I go running very often, but for the gym, it's really great just to throw on. This was... Um, five pounds and I got it in a size 10. It's just a really lightweight stretchy fabric and it's actually really flattering on as well. Now admittedly I don't find myself wearing skirts that much during the winter but for this transitional period over the next few months I think there's such a great thing to throw on when you're not really sure what on earth the weather is doing. So I picked up this kind of camel coloured nude faux suede skirt in a size 10. It's got a zip detailing down the back, that's the back, um, and it's just a really lovely length. I feel like it's really flattering because it's A-line, and whether you want to wear this with tights or high over-the-knee boots, 
or whatever you fancy. I just feel like it's a really easy piece to dress up or dress down. I got this in a size 10 and it was eight pounds. So a really great buy. Next up, I got a pair of black ripped skinny jeans in a size 10. These were 15 pounds and I haven't tried them on yet so I'm not sure whether they fit. Sometimes I can get it really right with Primark jeans and sometimes I can get it horribly wrong and it's slightly annoying when you can't fit into your normal size but I feel like they look like they're my size. The denim feels really warm and cozy and soft which is nice because sometimes denim can be quite itchy. I feel like these will be really great for dressing up for an evening and wearing with heels or high heeled boots and yes I don't know what to say other than that they are a fab pair of jeans hopefully I think that khaki is such a gorgeous color for autumn winter and so when I saw this top I knew I had to have it it's an off-the-shoulder kind of bardo style with lace-up sleeves and a little kind of bow detailing they are three-quarter length sleeves and it's just kind of a tight straight up straight down um, top I feel like this kind of thing would be really good to tuck into the camel skirt that I showed you earlier and I just feel like it's a great thing to chuck on with jeans it was six pounds and I got it in a size eight I feel like the vertical line detailing is really really flattering because it just kind of draws everything in and makes it look very streamlined so I'm very excited to put all of that together and come up with a really nice autumnal look and then finally other than a few pairs of black socks which I'm not going to show you because you all know what black socks look like I also picked up this other piece of knitwear which is a long sleeved tight um, stripy camel white and black top it was six pounds and I got it in a size 10 I really like the fact that it's fitted and again I could tuck this into the camel skirt and the colors would go really nicely or I could wear it with jeans or a whole host of things really. So I just think it's a really nice versatile piece with the autumnal color palette which I keep going on about and I'm really sorry. So that was some of the other new season pieces that I picked up from Primark. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I bought and how I wear them. I will probably be doing a autumn winter style transitional season, whatever you want to call it, lookbook over the coming weeks. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. I was really, really impressed, as I said, with how much stuff Primark has. I've never been a huge shopper of Primark. I mean, I was when I was in my teens, but I kind of faded away and moved to other stores. But I'm definitely becoming more loyal to Primark. I feel like they have some lovely pieces. And I've been so impressed by how high quality lots of the material is. Obviously, I don't know how long they're gonna last, but if you are looking to update your wardrobe for the new season on a budget, I would definitely recommend heading down quickly so that you can pick up a few of the new additions. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I love hearing what you think and seeing your comments and I make sure that I reply to all of them. So please do feel free to let me know what you think your feedback is most appreciated if you're new to my channel then I do post three times a week as a minimum and I try and keep my content really varied so I do lots of lifestyle travel fashion and beauty stuff and I have some really really exciting things planned over the next few weeks which I can't wait to share with you so please stay tuned and I hope to share this exciting journey with you I'm gonna stop waffling now but have a great day and I look forward to seeing you on the next video